Hello, Jano. Today at school, I got my history essay back. I wrote about Vikings. I love Vikings. Mr. Collins didn't like it. I won't be showing this to Mum. She has enough to worry about. Vikings are the best. They're tall. And strong. They love conquering. And fire! Vikings are basically all kinds of awesome. I could really use some awesome right now. I got her old photo album out. I wanted to see Gran like I remember her when she was awesome. When we arrived, Gran was asleep. Her skin looked so thin, almost see-through, like tissue paper. She was Gran-shaped, but empty. I mean, that's silly, right, Journal? It's just Gran. But somehow it isn't. It's not her! She woke up after a few minutes, but it didn't seem like she knew who we were. Why? Why is this happening? Why her? It isn't fair! Why, Journal? Gran still can't speak properly. It's so cruel. She can't tell us anything like what she wants to eat or how she feels and what's worse everyone pretends they're having a real conversation with her but they're not you're doing fine barbara the doctor said to her you just need some time Hospitals should make you better. She's so ill now. I want her better now. Just wait. Time is a healer. I thought that was his job. I wish I could help her. It makes me so mad. Nurse said it was dinner. Mum had ordered Gran soup and a jacket potato but when gran tried to eat by herself she kept dropping her cutlery Mum had ordered her mushroom soup. Mushroom! Gran calls them nature's bogeys.
reminded Mum about the mushrooms. She got that look and banged the spoon against the bowl. There was lip passing, but looking at Gran, I had to help her. I still had some loose change. So I ran, down to the entrance hall, where I'd seen a vending machine on the way in. Egg sandwich! Hurrying back to 305, I couldn't help but grin. They didn't let me back in! Adult talk. Wait outside. That's what they said. So I waited on a bench until Mum came out the room. She said nothing. Just took me to the car. We didn't speak a single word. Not at the car park. Not during our drive home. Dad had made pies for tea. I just wasn't hungry. Dad said I needed to eat. I said, if Gran wasn't going to eat, neither would I. He sent me to my room. I slammed the door really loudly and flumped onto my bed. I still had the egg sandwich. It was all mushed up. Everything is all mushed up. Dad is mean. Mum doesn't care. And Pi is stupid. Maybe I should just try to write my story. Last time, Robin was plunging down into the dark below, but the gin spell slowed her fall. Down and down she went, tumbling, helpless. Then and there, Robin started to... But the darkness didn't care. As Robin hurtled through the darkness, her helplessness no longer made her feel scared. It made her feel frustrated. Angry. She wanted answers. Jin's magic gently released her into the unknown. Now where am I? The ground was warm to the touch. At least it's quiet. Just my luck. Molten stone. She'd seen nothing like this in her forest home. I really miss fooling around with the village kids. A stalactite hung above, looking decidedly precarious. Something was unnerving about the 
pursuing. Something was unnerving about the pendulous nature of the ceiling. I need to get the story under Something control. was unnerving about the pendulous nature of the ceiling. I knew it! I knew it! I knew it! Closer. Robin realized she would soon face its maker. form. Hey! Stop that! You'll bring the whole cave down! But the giantess just <gasps> kept on pounding. Yeah, just ignore me. It's not like I might die over here. The lava gently bubbled, as if to mock a lack of progress. Inside Robin was a white hot rage.
Exit. Robin didn't quite know what she'd encountered. Sheesh. She's so angry. The thought stuck with Robin. What's wrong with her, I wonder? Whew. I think I need a breather. A place to rest. Robin was beginning to feel burn of loneliness. <sighs> Robin's thoughts drifted back to the burning giantess. Why would she be so full of rage? She must have felt... Alone. Imagine being stuck in a cave all by yourself. I go bonkers too. Robin vowed to be more understanding. If they met again. The light pushed back the darkness. A heaviness lifted from her heart. That was strangely satisfying. Robin was adrift on the current. Without control. Lost on the flow of lava. It would take her where it wished. river went faster and faster Robin, remember, empathy. You! 
you again. She isn't listening. Run, Robin. Run. Thundering steps shook the earth. Done. You look. We're trapped, and it's all your fault. I hate this place, and I hate you. I hate you. Her anger <sighs> consumed itself. Huh? What happened to you? No, no. Don't feel so angry now. Angry? What's there to be angry about? I wouldn't squash me if I were you. Think of the mess. The smell. The giantess smiled. As her anger left, it brought a change. Did it again. Lump's anger gone. Lump? Nice to meet you. I'm Robin. Sorry I was so angry. Lump sorry too. Lump scares Lump when Lump's so big. I'm looking for a dragon. Have you seen it? What? Dragon? I'll show you. But first, we need to get out of here. Hmm. Hmm. Just then, Robin noticed a boom shroom she hadn't seen before. Robin. <laughs> <laughs> 